lot of improvising in barbecuing that differentiates us. This is where we make our dreams come true. We put 100% of our passion into this place you may call a hole in the wall. The people who are searching for that bite of brisket, that bite of ribs, that bite of sausage could find that right here. I definitely love and appreciate being the spot for some people. It's, yeah, it's quite an honor. <laughs> Yeah, so we've been featured on quite a few good good places. Texas Monthly, LA Times, Eater LA. Definitely the most meaningful one will be the Vice video. That one, man, has touched so many people I, that I couldn't believe. I got a lot of people to come over and try us out. And it's definitely amazing to see as far as how far out the barbecue community can get. Yeah, so Ray's Barbecue is located here in the city of Huntington Park. It's about a 10, 15 minute drive from downtown LA. We're open from Tuesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. or sell out. And that's the fun part about it. We don't know who's stepping in the store. We don't know what company's gonna order. And it's always great to see new people here. When my dad started selling backyard barbecue, he remember having folks having a hard time pronouncing his real name, which is Rene. Ray was a similar nickname to it and it pretty much stuck ever since. He let people know it was Ray's Barbecue, and it stayed from there. On Fridays, we usually try and do, you know, some special. Recent ones have been crispy pork belly. You know, smoke cheese channels, something I guess you don't find everywhere, but LA vibes with it. People will get it at their North Cape market, you know, a lot of Latino markets. Yeah, we're really trying to deliver a different take on something that's common here. More traditional rub going on with this one. Got some secret sauce right there, huh? Yeah, and it'll hit the palate on top of that crispy, crunchy uh, top. We do ours smoked all the way. You know, it almost resembles like a whole hog, which is one of my favorite foods in barbecue. You know, very fond of uh, Carolinas. Oh, nice. Uh, that's why we uh, like to carry cheer wine too. Okay. Um, because it's a North Carolina drink. It pairs perfectly with our barbecue here. Uh, yeah, bring that little, you know, that little taste from over there, over here. Wow, that is like so incredibly sweet. <laughs> yeah, I guess like, cause I'm just thinking about like the pulled pork, I, I kind of understand like the pairing. Yeah, it's like literally like liquid candy. <laughs> so what would you say is like the drink of LA barbecue? I'd say like a Topo Chico, I don't know, I mean. That's so LA, it's, an, it's like mineral <laughs> water. <laughs> <laughs> Friday night yet. The salt is just dry out the skin. Yeah, it'll come off. So, uh, and, it, and like you said, just dry out that skin. It's just days of early mornings and long nights. Uh, definitely lots of patience and uh, attention to detail. Is there a specific like shape or size you're looking for? Yeah. If I put a small one, it'll just burn really hard. At least one that has its like full shape or you know, chunk your log. We use white oak. We like the aroma it gives out, how it burns. That's just the middle ground of good lasting wood alongside nice smoke, not too much of a harsh flavor. And I find it, I've been talking to some pit matches too, that it, it is the uh, wood of choice here in California without paying the Texas price of imported post oak. So at this point, do you feel like you like mastered the JNR? You know, I, I learn as I go, always. I'm always tweaking it to see if I always get better results. We're using two JNR smoke masters. We're loving our JNRs. To us, they're our babies now. We've been able to pin it down, and there's no other way we would rather cook off. Uh, right here, down below, right here is the fire box door. Open that up. Got a little fire going. Yeah. You can see right here, little air holes. Um, that's where the smoke in the back will come up. Up top here is that fan. will blow in a little smoke around evenly. JNR has been around for 50 years and it's been right there with the offsets starting off. I think they've been around for 50 years for a reason. Carolinas will base their meat. Did you salt? Uh, use the sauce, this, this kind of sauce, vinegar based sauce. 
because I mean, I, I can't do whole hogs in these GNRs either. So really, it's you know one of the best parts of pig. So I figured, I mean, at least I can do that, right? <laughs> Wow. So you get like, you know, like it almost has the same elements as like a fried chicharron, but like you can absolutely taste like the barbecue aspect to it. It's like the perfect marriage. Yeah, that's a like top tier pork mm -hmm. belly for sure. Yeah, dude. I'm, okay, let's go get a plate of that. <laughs> yeah. So we started off as a pop up here in the city of Huntington Park. At first, my dad started off with some pulled pork, moved up from there to ribs. Ever since then, it was all support of the community to the point where we had to re-inspire ourselves to be like, okay, this is good, but we want to be great. So that was when we decided to make the trip to Austin, to try Franklin's, and from there, Race Barbecue was reborn. But definitely thankful for the plentiful trips that we've made in those previous years to develop the palate that helps me cook today. I'm excited to try it. <laughs> Seeing the hard work people put out and me eating their food and being satisfied and inspired from that. And you know, also from seeing my dad, yeah, I recall seeing him trimming and thinking, uh, you know, I might have to do that at some point. Slicing away at risk of the knife work behind it. Easily get into my zone of just trimming away. The most popular protein would be that uh, that brisket. It was a very, at first, uh, I was slow at getting at it. When I first started though, and it took me like four times as long. That's just because sometimes you'll get some different, every brisket looks different, right? So, so learning how and what I want to trim off the brisket, there was a learning curve to that for sure. You know, we stick with that Central Texas style, salt, pepper, rub. Oak smoke. Yeah, just, now it's more, more chill. Just, you know, wash the tan, wash the smoke. I mean, we try our best to live up to Texas barbecue because when we first went there, to us, it was a pinnacle experience, which is why we, you know, try so hard to try and bring it over here. Another big Texas influence would be the jalapeno cheddar sausages because those are definitely the ones that blew our mind. We never had sausages like this until we traveled to Texas for the first time. I mean, every time we take a bite from anywhere in the country, it, it is inspiring. Whether if it's our chicharron, which is inspired by our Salvadoran heritage, which is a necessity for pupusas, Memphis style driver ribs, North Carolina style pulled pork with its mud sauce. It's barbecue that has various influences, but ultimately, as it's family run, we put our love into it as a family. We're honored to put food on the table for others and build a, a relationship off that with them. Today was, was Friday and it was pretty packed. You know, out of nowhere we open, it could be have a few people on the line. Next thing you know, a bus load comes in where tables are jam packed. So it could vary, you know, it's all it's all a surprise here at Ray's. You went a night to go though, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and take a seat guys. I'm the one who's Supervising, making sure our customers are satisfied. I'll go say what's up, check up on them. And that's the cool part where, you know, I'm a, I'm a people's person. I'll, I'll have to see what's up, you know? So I would say my brother's the lead pit master. You know, he lets me sleep a little bit more, so. But uh, he still does his thing. Though. You know, I, I, I obviously help him out. You know, I would never let him down. He's always quick to, to get my back, whether it be some error in the, you know, in the front of house and you know, I'm a little flustered. I'll do the late shifts, but he'll cover me later in that day to, you know, at least he'll get, get me some rest or something. We got each other's back, which lets us work comfortably. The kitchen lead, keeping quality control, the sides, I'll give all that credit mainly to my mom. And my mom's definitely la jefa here. She doesn't take any shortcuts. She's the one who built this business with my dad from the ground up. She makes sure we're doing things right, we don't slack off. And she always, you know, makes sure that I'm doing all right. And it's nice to have someone like that, you know, to check up on you. The pros of working together with parents and siblings is that we're each other's own bosses in a way. Ultimately, we're not really tracking each other's hours or anything. It's we do what we got to do. I describe the uh, customer base here at Ray's to be a lot of blue collar, 
especially from the lunch rushes we get here, sitting next to the most industrial city here in the west side. Hit around lunchtime, man, we're, we're pretty packed in here, and you know, everyone's on lunch break, so we're crunching down orders as fast as we can. You know, I always say come before one, and we'll have everything. And if not, you're gonna be missing out on a little something if you come a little later. The ordering of half pounds and pounds, you know, that's a little new to some, but you know, we're glad that, that people are open to it. Keeping it going then. I mean, they're, they're bringing it up. This is Kelly barbecue for you. And they're bringing it hard and they're bringing it fast. And they're doing what they got. They know their skills, they match the craft. As you can see, selling out, what, like three, four times a week? Come on, you know? Yeah. for you, don't, don't forget, Huntington Park, California. Building relations with our customer base, and they saw, you know, we're just two young brothers just trying to make it work. They appreciate it and, and you know, they, they uh, show us love for it. There's parts of this uh, lifestyle where you know, you could feel overwhelmed and there's parts of it where, you know, you're just chilling and smoking away at some meats. <laughs> In the beginning of February, 2022, we had to decide if we were gonna run this business or not after our dad passed away. When our dad was here holding it down, we weren't sure if it was for us. We were thrown in deep water. We've had zero experience up to this year. We hurtled up in a circle, me, my brother, and my mom, and we said we're gonna do this. We took a day off from mooring, still fresh after my dad's passing. I had no idea how I was gonna come here, take orders, and work like nothing happened. The support of the community was insane. It was insane. And that was when I realized like, this is like our barbecue fam. This is, this is why we need to do it. You know, not just to support each other and pay bills, but we have people that rely on us. For me, it was like a, a way of relieving the morning a little. Um, yeah. At the, the time it happened, where we took over. Um, you know, I, I look at my work here also as a way to honor him. And so I always try to put out whatever I put out, you know, something that I feel like he would approve of. Yeah, I gotta get me one of those, those like gloves right there. Oh yeah. That's clean. Always gloves. Yeah, dude. Always gotta use it now. Saturdays, recently we've been doing beef ribs. We'll go in early for that. I always describe it as beef rib as like fatty brisket on a stick. That's the way to describe it to me, like it's like a brisket tomahawk. Customers have been happy that we've been bringing those back. Yeah, me too. I mean, I get a, I get a beef rib every now and then, so something in it for me too, but yeah. <laughs> Usually that's also, you know, one of our busiest days. So and yeah, we try to push out so that hopefully um, everybody who comes by on Saturday can get their barbecue fix. I feel Ray's is so popular is because of the experience. We're just a small little joint of me, my brother, my mom, and I come to realization that, you know, when I could either be having a bad thought or stress, whatever it is, there's someone out there waiting for us to open. 